Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 30th, 2023. Well, yesterday, my goodness, those bears decided to surge hard. We had a really good job openings uh, report yesterday that showed a significant decline in those job openings, easing some of that employment pressure and what the Fed wants to see. And so the market grabbed onto that and really surged yesterday unfortunately we also had a really big decline in consumer confidence we chose to ignore that one in favor of the job openings but we will have to kind of keep that in mind because usually if the consumers are not happy the market's not happy and we've been seeing some of that in some of the retail sales numbers so I think the big question is now that we have surged um, as hard as we have and broke through some 50-day moving averages can we hold it so how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as I mentioned in the, in the intro here, we had a big surge yesterday to the upside, breaking back through that 50-day moving average really crushing through there in a big upside pop. Um, now, the question once we uh, surge that much is can we hold this level um, after stretching that hard? You know, we've, we've, we're kind of in this um, big whipsaw type market. It's either all in or all out. Everybody's running back and forth um, pretty hard in these moves. So be kind of careful here. Um, I mentioned yesterday that if we did find that bullishness and broke through that 50-day moving average that I was looking up in here for these big candles um, on either side to see whether or not we could push through that level. So now that'll be the test here this morning. Can we get through there? Can we hold? And if um, we do find that bullish inspiration, then I'm going to suggest we come right up in here and we test that area of price resistance in the chart. So watch that closely. Now, you do want to keep in mind that on the diamonds, we still have this potential downtrend that we're working on. And so everything is kind of coming together here for a resistance area in the chart. And we saw some data out of European markets this morning that have turned things just a little bit to the side of uncertainty here. Watch that closely. Now, what we're going to be dealing with here this morning is the GDP data, which will likely determine whether or not the bulls were engaged or if the bears are going to come back. So watch that carefully here this morning. If we um, take a look at our SPY, SPY, also big, solid surge yesterday. We had a big move in several of the big techs. As a matter of fact, NVIDIA made... Um, made record high uh, record high close here in nvidia popping through uh pushing up strongly yesterday and we saw a lot of the big tech giants also relieving some of that pressure pushing up strongly that helped the uh, spy tremendously breaking through its 50-day moving average like it wasn't even there and now what we're going to be dealing with is we're likely going to be dealing with this resistance level right here in the chart as you can see price resistance level in the chart and we're pushing back up toward that failed trend to see whether or not we can get through that area up here or if we end up creating some kind of a lower high in the market. Now, another good news item here, you'll notice that this downtrend that we've been struggling against, we did break through that to the upside. So as long as the bulls um, can hold on here, even if we do pull back, if we hold above that 50 day moving average, well then we put in that possible higher low here in the market. 
the real question is, will that occur? Could it be possible? And with the whip sawiness that we've seen in this market, um, be prepared for the possibility if the data is not good today, that we could break this back down below that level and that would create that potential lower high in the spy. So a lot of, a lot of uncertainty here to deal with, but you know, it was nice to see that relief rally. If we um, see the QQQ here, QQQ rallied up strongly. We did break that 50 day moving average here to the upside, pushing through. But you'll notice in this chart, we are also running into that downtrend resistance. And let's go back to our other chart here. You can see that resistance that I marked out in the chart yesterday is right up there against that. So if we, we pop through here, now the question is, can we get through these multiple layers of resistance? And you will want to keep in mind that we still have this trend break that could serve as a resistance level as well as we stretch up into that area of the chart. So if we can hang on in here, we've created this little higher low right in here. Now to see if we can hold that 50 day moving average and create another higher low to maybe push on through and get those bulls going here. If we were to fail in this area, uh, obviously that would be a little bit of an upset for the bulls and um, could bring a little bit of panic here in the market. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM had a really nice surge. We surged up into this resistance of the chart, but we fell just short of getting up through that 50 day moving average. As you can see, that 34 EMA kind of engaged right there in the chart. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that resistance here this morning. If we were to pull back, you can see we've got a little tiny bit of bearishness there in the pre-market here, but that probably won't mean anything. Um, when we head into these economic numbers, that'll likely make the decision whether we're going to move up or move down. So watch that closely. One of the things you might want to be keeping an eye on is this possibility that we could be putting in kind of a head and shoulders pattern here. If we were to roll over from this point, um, that head and shoulders might be coming into better view. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX dropped hard yesterday. And the good news here for the bulls is that we did break this upside trend substantially. We broke down here into this support area of the chart. Let's see if we can hold down in here. Now, one of the things that bothers me about this market, it's just either we're all racing uh, to buy it or we're all racing to sell. And um, these big whipsaws um, in the market Market are no good for anyone because the volatility is chopping so many people's accounts up. But watching this carefully, if we can hold um, this bullishness and continue to push on down, well, maybe we come on down here, retest these lows here in the market, which suggest, would suggest the market has very little fear at all in what's going on here in some of these economic reports. If we bounce off of this, that's where we'll get a little bit of worry um, here in the market, but it really won't make any major difference unless we break back above this trend right in here uh, that we broke down here just recently. We'd have to get back above that before I think we would run into any major concern here in the VIX. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 obviously surged up strongly yesterday. Um, you can see here that we're pushing up here toward the uh, bearish reversal zone pretty quickly with that surge. A little bit more to the upside here. We're going to maybe be topping out in uh, T2122, at least for the short term, because we surged so much yesterday in that kind of all or nothing market situation. We'll want to watch that closely. What it does tell us here on T2122 is that we run that possibility of more upside here if we can find bullish inspiration in the economic data today or earnings data. And then um, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, we do want to recognize that we've opened up a big opportunity. If those bears were to re-engage here, that we have opened up a pretty sizable opportunity for some additional selling. If we take a look at our T2108, 
What's interesting is T2108 was impressed yesterday. Finally, it, it had a slow start. Got a nice little move here, 38% of the stocks. I want you to notice that we're right back up here in this congestion zone of T2108. So we could still surge on up into this area of the chart before we break through some of that resistance here. Um, watch that carefully. This isn't, you know, when you think about 38% of the stocks above their 40 day, not all that impressive. So we're not getting um, some of the strength in um, stocks across the sectors that we would like to see. Um, as a matter of fact, what we saw yesterday is a lot of stocks just rallying back to downtrends and resistance levels in the chart. And we did have those select few like big tech really pushing hard yesterday, lifting the indexes. Now, if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also surged back up. This is a nice little improvement here in T2107. You will wanna notice we still have some resistance in the chart. Um, as I suggested yesterday, we might push up toward that 50% area here, 50% uh, of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. And we came pretty close to that yesterday so watch that carefully as we approach these resistance levels if the bears were to find reason to engage this this would not be a big surprise if that were to occur as a matter of fact you could probably see um, the um, head and shoulders pattern here that could be forming if that were the case. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now the good news here on T2101 is we had enough bullish energy here yesterday that we did see the market breadth pushing to the upside. So if we can follow through with that, and that'll be the key, can we follow through with market breadth pushing us higher here on that, on that follow through, that will really cement yesterday's um, big surge to the upside. If we are unable to follow through, that could be a little bit of a problem here. What we don't wanna see is we don't wanna see breadth dying off as we rally back to the upside. Um, I fear that might be the case though, so watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, well, we've got a busy one here this morning. First off, we're going to get uh, mortgage, excuse me, we're gonna get those mortgage applications here uh, this morning. Um, let's keep an eye on that. Those have been in relatively sharp declines here re recently, and probably not a big surprise. Um, our rates continue to go higher. That's being uh, uh, becoming a bit of a problem for um, folks being able to go out and buy a home, and we've been continuing to see bond rates rallying um pushing um against um you know that that negative idea in there however yesterday we had with a job openings report we saw those bond yields soften dramatically come down so what we need to see is that continue um, here and maybe um, next time we'll see um, those mortgage applications perhaps do a little bit better than they may do today we're going to have ADP numbers following that of course ADP is not what it used to be it it tends to miss quite a bit watch that one closely it can also be that that reason we get some volatility um, in the market uh, keep an eye on the gdp number of course this is going to be very very important if you look at the consensus here consensus is suggesting that stays flat at 2.4 percent and we're looking at con uh, personal consumption uh, moving up by um, a tenth so watch that closely there is some worry that this might miss in here with the declining with the declines we're starting to see in those uh, consumer um, numbers so watch that carefully international trading goods will then be up um, we're expecting that trade deficit to grow um, but we largely ignore it um, uh, for some reason we don't seem to care much about our trade deficit so um, watch that. We've got some corporate profits, retail sales, in, or retail inventories, um, wholesale inventories. Those could be interesting today, uh, particularly if that consumer is weakening. Watch those numbers. And then, of course, uh, pending home sales, petroleum status. 
uh, will be later in the day. So keep an eye on that. And as we kind of finish up that data, we're going to be thinking first thing about tomorrow. We've got jobless claims, personal incomes, and outlays, which of course are both market moving numbers. We've got uh, Fed speaker, Chicago PMI, natural gas report, and Fed balance sheet later in the day. Um, let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today. Now, our earnings calendar um, obviously has been winding down, but we still have some uh, some substantial uh, notables here today to be paying attention to. Um, if we take a look, we've got a Brown Foreman report that will be coming out today. Keep an eye on that. Um, we've got um, Chewy will be reporting today. This has obviously been in a terrible decline, mate. We need something good to happen here in Chewy to bring that back up. And perhaps it's going to be that earnings report that does that. Watch that one. We're going to have several retailers um, out there reporting besides Chewy. Um, we've got CONN. Keep an eye on that one today. We're going to hear from uh, CRM. Of course, that's going to be a market mover, potentially, depending on how it reports. CRWD reporting. We're going to hear from uh, Five Below here today. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from, um, oops, there we go. We're going to hear, that's not it. Um, we're going to hear from, um, it is Mastercraft here today. Watch um, that ticker. Uh, could be interesting today. Um, OKTA will also be reporting today. Uh, PDCO will be reporting today. It looks like we're getting a little bit of bearishness after that report here this morning. Uh, VEEV is on the list and VSCO. So keep an eye on some of those notables for today. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor. Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Also want to apologize that the video was so late yesterday. It was, everything was going just like it was supposed to go in the morning. It wasn't a problem on my end, but YouTube just took forever to load the video yesterday. Just couldn't get it loaded. So I apologize. It was late. Nothing I could do about it. I know some of you probably missed it because it was so late. Um, I apologize and hopefully today you'll be able to catch this one. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market and making sure you're watching um, carefully to follow your rules, your guidelines, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. First off, let's take a look at Cisco. Cisco had a, um, has just been running hard to this upside move and it just continues to stay very, very bullish. I would keep an eye on Cisco as, um, as it continues to stretch down any rest or pullback that holds on to this trend. Uh, would be the next opportunity into that chart. So watch that close. Cisco's really moving up. And we had a good move because we had an upgrade in Oracle yesterday. Oracle breaking through some resistance up here in the chart. I'd watch that closely to see if that can hold up here, rest, consolidate, and then look for that next opportunity to the upside on Oracle. Let's take a look at... Um, New stocks like this, however, we do have some tech stocks that are not all that happy. You'll notice we've got a downtrend going on here in AMD. And this rally back, these big black candles that reverse, uh, doesn't doesn't bode well for the way that uh, this is setting up. A rally back into this resistance and downtrend, I would be looking for the next possibility of a short position in here in AMD. And you can see AMD has already failed under its 50 day. I think we're likely heading down here to the 200 day eventually. So keep a close eye on um, AMD. You might want to keep a close eye on uh, these commodity 
um, uh, areas of the market in uranium. Oh my goodness, really, really beautiful chart. You can see my last alert here on CCJ running up nicely. Any rest or pullback in here, I think, may set up the next opportunity in that chart looking very good. And, of course, you can look at other uranium plays. They're doing well. URA, um, UUU, uh, for example, doing quite well. Keep a close eye on those. Um, interestingly enough, um, with the dollar weakening, we had a good day in gold. So. Um, I was looking at this to maybe um, show some downside here in the um, in gold and kind of surprised me here with a big surge to the upside with that um, reversal starting to show in the dollar. Now GLD still has this downtrend in here to be dealing with. You'll notice we do have a higher low in here. Keep an eye on some of these commodities as the dollar or if the dollar continues to weaken. That was quite a drop yesterday in the dollar after that jobs opening report. We'll see if it can hold that kind of attitude today when we get the GDP number. Watch that closely. Let's take a look um, at silver here as well. Silver made a really nice pop uh, back to the upside. Once again, we still have this downtrend in here we need to deal with. And the only thing I'm, uh, when we approach a downtrend like this, I'm not interested in being a buyer. What I wanna see is that next higher low. That next higher low and then I'm a buyer into that trade. So watch carefully on some of those commodity stocks. Let's take a look at um, Archer Daniels, ADM. ADM moving in this consolidating a little bit of rally back up area of the chart. I would watch uh, some of these uh, commodities, um, agricultural related stocks. Um, we're running into some problems here and as we see the consumer weakening, I would look for the next opportunity short here in that chart. And we're seeing, you know, a lot of weakness across um, some of the consumer defensive food related stocks like Camel Soup rallying back up in here after these major breaks of support. Rallying back up could be setting up the next opportunity short. Um, in those stocks. So keep an eye on those. Boy, when it, we talk about big tech, you've got to take a look at Google right now. Um, Google breaking out of this resistance here in the chart. It has been consolidating, struggling here to do that. Now we finally made that break following this trend to the upside. So any consolidating rest um, in this chart, I would look for that next opportunity on up here in Google. Watch that closely. Um, nice looking chart and of course that NVIDIA as you know I mentioned yesterday a uh, very good bullish pattern showing up here in that chart following through to the upside making a new record high close yesterday this easily could follow through uh, could easily rest back just a little bit and then look for that next opportunity to the upside in NVIDIA there certainly is a lot of energy in that stock so with that, guys, hey, I'm going to wind this up here uh, and see if I can get this video loaded today. I want to wish you all the very, very best. Thank you so much for being here. Be a little bit careful about racing in this morning until we see how the reaction to the economic data is going to be. But anything is possible. So with that, everyone, have an awesome day. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you bright and early Thursday morning. Wishing you all the very, very best.